In this video, I'd like to illustrate a few common techniques for compounding pharmacy, including trituration, spectralization, navigation, and geometric dilution. Trituration is a continuous rubbing or grinding the powder in a mortar with a pestle. The goal of trituration is to reduce the particle size of your powder ingredients. Also, it can be used to mix various powders or semi-solids as well. The common tools to do the trituration is the mortar and the pestle. A mortar and a pestle can be made of almost any hard materials. However, the most common materials are glass or porcelain. Porcelain actually is more common, however, it is a good idea to use a glass one if you want to use some food color, because if the porcelain can be easily get stained, which is very hard to clean. Now I'd like to show you an example to triturating sucrose. In this case, we will use a glass molder with a pestle. I'm gonna place the powder in the molder to correctly triturate your green gradient you need to apply sufficient force. If it's too soft, it won't be good. To ensure that you can effectively triturate, you want to make sure you hold the pestle firmly in your hand and apply adequate force against the side and the bottom of the mortar. And you can stir in your powder in a circular pattern. This will allow you to grind the powder between the mortar and the pestle. Next, spatulation. Spatulation is to mix powders and semi-solids such as creams, ointments, on an ointment slab or ointment paper. In this case, we need to use a spatula. The purpose of spatulation is the same as trituration, but it is more frequently used for the semi-solids. You can use the glass slab or you can use ointment paper. The spatula can be made of rubber or stainless steel. In this case, we will use glass slab. To do the spatulation first, we need to put a powder to be spatulated on the slab. Next, we can utilize a stainless steel spatula to spatulate the powder by pressing or grinding the powder in a circular way. Navigation. Navigation is to wet a solid by trituration in a mortar or spatulation on an ointment slab. In this case, we will use a small quantity of a liquid in which the solid is not soluble. Here, we just want to wet the powder, but not dissolve it. The purpose of navigation is to transform the substance from a solid state to a uniform semi-solid state, such as a paste, which can facilitate the incorporation of the solid into a cream or ointment base. At the same time, it can reduce the particle size. In this example, I like to use the green food color as a powder. Firstly, we put the powder on the top of the glass slab. Then we use the mineral oil as a navigating agent. We can put a portion of the navigating agent directly on top of the powder or sometimes we can put surrounding the powder as well. Now we can use a stainless steel spatula to press the powder. Actually, we can do the spatulation. So the powder will be spatulated into the navigating agent. 
So the amount of the levigating agent, so how to decide the amount of levigating agent? So the general rule is to use as minimal as possible. So we can repeat the process until all the solid has been incorporated with the levigating agent. So now it is ready for the next step. Geometric dilution. Geometric dilution is a pharmaceutical process that thoroughly makes a small amount of a drug with the appropriate amount of diluent. The purpose of geometric dilution is to combine two or more ingredients to obtain a homogeneous mixture. It can be done by trituration or spatulation. Now i like to show you an example of the powder with powder. The food green color used as a small quantity, while the lactose used as the diluent, which is a large amount. We will get started by putting the food color inside the molder. You can simply just flick the back of the weighing boat to collect all the powder inside the molder. Next, we will add the approximately equal amount of the diluent into the model as well. The amount doesn't have to be exactly the same. You just by visual check. You can now go ahead to triturate the powders. So while do the triturating, we can mix the two powders very well because they have almost equal amount. It would be much easier to do the mix. At the same time, we can also reduce the particle size. After each mix, we are going to scrap down all the pestle and the side of the motor to collect the powder mix in the center of the motor. Just make sure to reduce the attrition. We can now repeat the process by continuing adding the approximate equal amount of the larger powder into the, our molder, followed by the mixing until all the powders has been added. Actually, if you dump all the powder together at once, because the ratio of these two powder are so different, it would be very difficult to mix them uniformly. Now it's ready for the next process. Next would be the geometric dilution by using the spatulation technique. So over here we have the green color at the small F quantity while the petrolation as the larger quantity diluent. Usually the solid has to be levigated first. We already done about that. And the techniques are similar. So firstly, we add the almost equal amount of the petrolatum, which is a diluent, to the powder. 
then we can use a spatula to do the spatulation to spatulate the mixture and here they get uniformly mixed so this process can be continued until all the base has been incorporated Okay, now it's ready for packing. 